as you know, I was at Sew Expo at the end of February, and I was lucky enough to be asked for a second year in a row to make some things for Stylemaker Fabrics to be displayed in their booth. These makes are all chosen by Michelle, the owner. So I don't have a ton of say in what I make, but she knows my style so well by now that I always end up loving the choices anyway. This year, she sent me this Sew so Over It penny dress and this gorgeous rayon chalet. She also sent the Andre Designs Roll With It tote bag uh, and a canvas, a beautiful canvas to make out of that. But this video is all about the dress and I'll be back to talk about the bag in a separate video. This fabric was almost a part of the design the look options for this year, but the fabric didn't arrive to their warehouse in time for us to include it. I have a strong feeling though that it would have beaten out the fabric that ended up winning, but everything ended up working out since I got to make a garment from both fabrics anyway. The fabric is a dream to work with. Yes, it's lightweight. Yes, it's shifty, but it presses beautifully and my machine had no problems with it. It's lightweight enough to let the skirt drape and flow beautifully, but has enough structure with the help of lightweight interfacing to hold up that collar and button placket. As you can see, it has amazing twirl factor, largely in part to a perfect pattern and fabric marriage. The Sew Over It penny dress is described as a simple, easy to sew, and utterly gorgeous shirt dress. Stylish, wearable, and flattering for so many shapes, Penny is a summer wardrobe must-have. Penny features a sleeveless button-up bodice, flat collar, pretty gathered shoulder panel, easy-fit elasticated waist, and on-trend midi-length skirt. With no darts, zippers, or collar stands to contend with, it is a simple project perfect for sunny summer days. The skirt piece is massive and it is cut off grain to accommodate its size, but you end up with just one side seam and the most beautiful folds in the skirt. You just can't help but swish around in it. Just like all other Sew so Over It patterns, the instructions are detailed and easy to follow. However, the steps that end up producing the collar and front band are a little counterintuitive and they took me a minute to piece together. But once I got it, it made so much sense and produced beautiful results. Another thing to keep in mind is that Sew so Over It is a London-based company, so their instructions are written using the Imperial System of Measurement. There aren't any really easy ways for a metric user to accurately sew seam allowances, but I did my best and since the design is somewhat loose fitting, you can't really tell if the seams are off by a little bit. If you have any tricks for being more accurate with this, please let me know in the comments section. Can you swap out the throat plate on your sewing machine? This is definitely something I want to look into more if I keep making sew over it patterns. I'll be back soon to talk to you about the super cute bag that I also made for the Stylemaker Fabrics booth. I will have links in the description box for the fabric and pattern, both of which are still available at stylemakerfabrics.com. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye!